G'day guys, Zukumani here, and welcome to Edge of Space. Now, uh, this game, it reminds me a lot of Terraria, um, and that was a major reason why I became an original backer, back when this game was on Kickstarter. Now, um, I funded this game, it would have been uh, when it was first sort of... Um, well, during, during the beginning stages of it being announced, I remember seeing it somewhere and someone talking about it on Twitter and I checked it out, watched the video on it, and then uh, instantly it was just like, this is the kind of game that I love to play. So um, I, I was a big fan of Terraria. Um, back when it first came out, played it a whole shitload. And um, when I saw this and saw its concept, saw the concept of the uh, of the actual design studio, which is Handyman Studios, uh, they wanted to sort of make this world into something absolutely unheard of before. So instead of it just being like you play, you survive, and you collect shit, you build your base, and that's it, Bob's your uncle, you just continue doing that whole pattern. This design of this game is all about surviving the environment and the environment is smart enough to know that you're an entity on this world and that when you start to terraform the land when you start to create an atmosphere and uh, start to change it into I guess something that you'd use uh, as, as a human species I'm guessing I'm human anyway um, yeah, the, the world will sort of interact with you and try to stop you as best it can. So it, it's just it's just little features like that so that uh, within the game it has a very deep and robust crafting system. Uh, what button's crafting? Um, it has been a while. I have not played this game since the early alpha stages. But uh, bringing up the character window here, as you can see, it is very, very in-depth. You've got your max health, max energy, health regeneration, energy regeneration. You've got tool swap speeds. You've got um, resistances to all these different elements within the game. Uh, you've got dodge accuracy, uh, critical, uh, critical modifiers, and I'm currently getting attacked by a jellyfish. Let me just deal with this guy real quick. All right. He splits off into two. Um, I'm noticing that these jellyfish actually do split off into two or even three. I'm not sure if it's uh, when they actually hit you, they become um, magnetized. They sort of change color a bit. Oh, and who can forget, there's there's friggin' jetpacks in the game. Now, if you fly up too high and don't like steady your fall, you do take fall damage, as I just did right there. Yeah, there's more jellyfish down that way. So we'll sort of stay clear of them, clear from them for now, once I continue to show you guys sort of some of the integrations within the game. So uh, th there's items that you can craft and that you can wear. You can toggle the helmet on or off. I currently have it off for my character. Uh, you know, there's things that increase your speed, your jump, your gravity factor modifier, which I'm going to assume that's your jetpack. Um, then you've got your exposure, rank, resistances, and cooldowns. Now, I'm not sure what some of these things are, what they sort of do. Um, but yeah, just looking at that window there, it, it just tells you straight away that this game is so in-depth in what they're trying to do here that you can get lost in this game for hours upon hours upon hours. Okay, so you've got all these items that you can create. Let me just move this window. So you've got things from, uh, I guess, weaponry. You've got uh, utility stuff, medical stuff. You've got armor. You have, um, I guess some other weird things there, and then you got structural and artifacts. Uh, so if we have a look at weapons, right, and we look at rifles, I made a dirt cheap rifle before, which basically takes uh, 15 um, inner, flame, uh, inner frame, sorry, and then 15 casings. So uh, down the bottom it tells you the materials, it's a raw mineral and also a rock. So you're basically looking at mining rocks within the game, and also dirt. To get these items, you have an item which you start off with, which is called a um, basic laser pick. So if I actually bring it out here, you can you can tool swap quickly by using Q and E on the keyboard. But yes, yeah, so if I bring it out real quick, you've got two options here. You see like a red beam, and if you right click, it'll go to a blue beam. Now the blue beam is the foreground. Is it the foreground? No, sorry, my mistake. The red beam is foreground, which is what we see straight ahead of us. So you could basically just mine out this stuff like this. Just like so. There is a range on it, and then you just simply just jump on the items to collect the items. 
as you see, I just picked up a whole bunch of dirt there. But you can also go foreground, uh, background, sorry, by right-clicking, getting the blue laser, and then you can start doing the background. Much like so. Now, it looks like this jellyfish might have aggroed onto me. In fact, I think he has, so we're just going to deal with him real quick. Now, um, you do have like a shield system. So uh, up in the top left hand corner, you can sort of see like my energy rating, which again works for shields, also jetpacks and used for other things as well, as it's mentioned there. And then you've got your health bar. Now, this is um, basically when you become zero, you stop being alive, as you can imagine. Then you've got these cryo cry uh, sorry cryo rod counts now i have 10 of these now i believe you can craft these every time you die you utilize one of these thingos and respawn back at what you see right here this thing right here in front of us now um when you use all 10 of those items and then you die again you will lose all the items within your inventory um now, I, I, as I mentioned, I believe there is a, w is a way of sort of crafting more of those later on. But at the moment, I'm not too, not too concerned. I mean, there's nothing sort of around that I can see that's going to kill me straight away. So, if we continue looking at crafting, you can, you can enhance your mining pick. You've got all these other things like raw organic materials. And you've got, you know, rocks. And then you've got some radioactive ore. Or radio radioactive materials. Now, uh, you can sort of refine items. Sorry, hit the wrong button there. Now, if you press 2 on the keyboard, it brings up the refinery. So, you're able to take items, let's say these ice, and I'm able to refine them into, I believe it turned into these things here. Yeah, refined ice, which is a whole new item in its own. Now, I'm not I don't believe you can sort of refine again. You can only refine once. Refine an item once, but it all all of a sudden it goes from just a standard tree of crafting, which is basically like your basic materials that you can sort of farm, into using basic materials to refine into greater items or higher value items to craft higher value item gear. So as you can tell, just by looking at this crafting menu and everything like that, it is very in depth and everything that you could sort of create here. I mean, you can create everything from air conditioner units all the way up to VGA monitors, ultra VGA monitors, and uh, you can even get things like, you know, some tables, some compact computers, some um, Arco water coolers. I mean, there's, there's a lot of detail and design work that's gone into this game that you can sort of do. And the game is in beta at the moment. It is sort of working up towards, uh, actually, it only recently became a beta release. And uh, that's how I got my Steam code. They sent me my Steam code. And I figured back in the day when I was playing the game during Alpha, I was like, okay, I want to play this game a lot, but I don't want to sort of jump into it until it goes to a Steam release. And then once it's in Steam, I can sort of start to play it and create videos. And and so we're sort of at the stage, I mean, along with Star Maid that I'm doing videos for, and along with uh, Project Zomboy that I'm currently doing videos for as well, this game will fall into the category of myself doing like a Let's Play series of it. I may do like an in-depth crafting guide series of it, maybe uh, maybe some other sort of ideas in my head that I sort of want to do. Uh, the major thing that I'm very interested in seeing a lot of is that this game has a lot of modding support. The, uh, the creators of the game at Handyman Studios are actually supporting modders. Uh, within this game so I'm very interested to see and what, what sort of mods that uh, people are producing for the game whether they're complete redesigns on the game itself whether they're just uh, texture swaps everything like that I mean I would love to sort of delve into it and check it all out but uh yeah guys I mean I'm really happy to sort of see where this game is going I'm just going to go around and go about and explore the world a bit more now craft a bunch of items and hopefully not get killed by a bunch of jellyfish let me just kill this guy Anyway guys, this is Edge of Space, a new game that I'm sort of going to start to play. Now, you can pick this game up within the Steam Marketplace, but also via their website. All of the links will be down in my description below. So if you're interested in picking up this game and supporting the uh, the hardworking individuals over at Handyman Studios, then please, by all means, send them your support. And I hope to see you guys in this game in the near future. My name is Zuku Money. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.